Eh oui, c'est bon, ça marche. I'm 15 years old there, you can tell. Were you already obsessed by dance at that age? I wanted to be a star when I was little. Since my first dance classes, I thought of nothing else. I worked on all those variations. Everything that you can see there was with the aim of becoming a star dancer. Of course, when you're a star, you realize that the real work is only beginning, the serious work. I mean the work beyond the technical stuff, the work on yourself, the work on neatness, your way of thinking, the way you express yourself, the problem of choice, of what you're going to dance. You took an extraordinary shortcut from being a principal dancer to being a star. A principal dancer can still fail, but for a star, this is out of the question. Absolutely. The day you're a star, you're no longer entitled to make a mistake. No mistakes, no weaknesses. The only thing you're entitled to is a faultless career, nothing else. No mercy, just merciless profession. And did you know all that then? Yes, of course. Well, who taught you that? Bonsoni or the Paris Opera? Both. Max told me over and over again, because obviously I'm not a workaholic. Yet I worked for hours and hours and hours, but Max would repeat it over and over again. There were exams every year at the opera, and the only escape, the only possible way out, was to come top, to be the best. I was brought up like that, rather the way a racehorse is trained, and that's the result. But it was with the return from Varna that your career took off. No, my career took off with Max. I did my first performances with him when I was 10 years old. That was when I knew that I would continue no matter what happened. It was on the return from Varna that my media career took off. I was on the news with Mourousi. There was a page in Paris Match, things like that, and I began to get noticed. At the Olympic Games, there was Guy Drou who won a gold medal, and at the Dance Olympics the same year, there was Dupont. Are you sensitive about the media side of your career? It doesn't really bother me. It's something that is necessary, like working at the bar before you can work on the floor. Similarly, you need the media, just as the media need you. It's normal to be interviewed, to talk about myself, People want to know what's happening. I need them to know. But the aim is to continue making progress for myself. If you talk about yourself all the time, you end up having nothing more to say. You also need cultural nourishment. Now where does that come from? It comes from yourself. I continue to learn, to experience new things, to develop, to travel. So you have to catch me when I come back, in fact. Il faut me saisir quand je reviens en fait.